What's up you guys, it's Steve the Graphics Guy. Today I'm gonna to show you how we manage all of our file folders and keep our jobs organized. Let's get into it. Trello is a web-based project management tool that helps teams organize and collaborate on work. The user is able to create boards, lists, and cards to manage tasks and deadlines. Trello makes it really easy to visualize what tasks need to be completed and helps create a workflow that fits your needs. It also makes it easy to see where the bulk of the work may be and to find where a bottleneck in your workflow is. Okay, here's a look into our Trello. And this is our sales board. And within this board, we have different columns here. And that kind of is the process that we follow. So things go from leads to estimating to quote being out, follow up, and then once we sell the job, we're waiting for a purchase order or payment. And so a job starts here in leads once we get a phone call or an email. And I've created this template that allows everyone to follow the same template no matter who's taking the, taking the lead and inputting it into Trello. And it starts with the job number, the client's name, the job name, site code, and the city and state, if we're installing it. If we're not installing it, we don't put it a city and state. And so I have the description where we put the client contact information, the site contact if there is one, general notes, and then scope of work. Within the card, it allows you to create different checklists. So I've created one for admin tasks, subcontracted install if we're working for another printer. I have one for design, production, and installation. What's cool about Trello is if there's multiple people on the team working, like my designer here, I can tag her in comments here to revise things, or she could tag me and say, you didn't put the details in <laughs> the general notes, or you didn't tell me what materials we want to use. So that's a great way to keep the communication about the job in the card so it's in one central location. There's also some cool power-ups in Trello. And one of them that I love to use is tracking a package. You can just paste the tracking information in here. If, say, you're ordering something out or for our subcontracted installs when a customer is shipping us graphics to then go install at their customer. Um, we just drop their tracking number, select the carrier, so there's a ton here, and then that'll give us a little tracking pop-up so we can see when the package is expected to arrive. Another good one is location, and that allows us to drop a location in. So. We don't have a field up here for address because we have this location power up and then it's right there in the cart and we know where the product is going. Also in Trello, you can add attachments. You can just select them from your file folders or like your desktop or wherever the file may be. Um, and that's what we've previously used for years. We dropped everything into the Trello cart. But what I'm gonna show you next is how we manage our files and how it works with the Trello card. Google Drive allows us to store, sync, and share all of our files in one platform anywhere that we have access to the internet. We could do it on our phones, on our laptops. When I go home, I could just pull it up on that computer. It really allows us to work from anywhere and have access to all of our files. So now we're into Google Drive, and you could use their online version, or this is their desktop version that works through like your file manager on Windows. And this is another template that I have inside the jobs folder, inside the server. And similar to Trello, it goes over quoting, survey, artwork, production, and installation. Those are the file folders that we have preset. And within some of them, our other folders, but that's something we're still building. Like inside production, I have a spot for production photos. So when I create this job folder, I can go to show more options 
and I can copy link to clipboard. And that's what I do. And then I go to Trello. I can go to the job and then I paste that link into the spot for the job folder. And now we have a direct link to all the supporting documents in Trello to get us to the stuff in Google Drive. And that's really how we connect both of these things. And I did mention that we can put attachments directly into Trello, and that's how we've done it in the past. But for say there ever was an issue where Trello went down or somehow all the information got deleted, that probably wouldn't be devastating, but it wouldn't be great. And so the same thing could happen with Google Drive, but we're able to back up our Google Drive and not necessarily our Trello, unless you know a way and you want to drop a comment down below. But I thought it was a lot safer to store all of our documents in Google Drive, just put a link to it into Trello, and that's how we do it, and it's been seeming to work out pretty well for us. Some of the other boards I have in Trello are design, production, and installation. And inside design, I have a column for artwork and proofing. I have completed and art sent for approval. Inside production, I have wide format printing and laminating, small format, Suma plotter cut, laser, finishing and shipping, and outsource. Installation, I have waiting to schedule, scheduled, complete, to be built, and build. If you have any questions about anything I may not have covered, or if there's something you want more details about, just drop it in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell so you can see more videos like this as soon as they come out. I appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.